Auntie Gabrielle here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. They say drink till you're Irish, and I think I've done it. I have turned Irish. I can't decide which is the better beer, this one. Mmm. Well, that one. But. I must have had enough of both because I've turned Irish. How do you like me? Dinner time. So I'm making Irish stew with lamb. I really don't eat meat. I don't eat lamb. Uh, so I'm going to give it a lamb flavor without adding the lamb meat. Let me set my timer for 12 minutes for you guys. And I've got everything on. Let me start with a little bit of garlic olive oil for my stew. The way I'm making my stew is different from the traditional way where you would add the meat, the cut up carrots, and the uh, potatoes. Cook them all together with your meat in a pot like a roast. That's not what I'm doing. So, a little bit of garlic in my oil, actually a uh, generous amount of garlic. I want it very, very tasty. Lamb tends to have a strong flavor, so I want to off, offset it by uh, adding herbs and spices, you know, the drill with me. Some cut up onions that I, I'm happy my virtual assistant cut up for me. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying myself, but I'm at home. I'm not driving. So, if you drink, please make sure you have a designated driver. Don't drink and drive. Everyone knows that by now, but you know we're humans and uh, we make mistakes. But uh, if you can avoid making that mistake, your life will be free of a lot of stress that comes with the penalties and the fine. So I cook my lamb. I got some lamb uh, soup bones, whatever you want to call it, so I can give the lamb flavor into my Irish and stew. Just getting that in here. I have a pot of water boiling. You know, that's my little shortcut. Adding some cut up cabbage to my pan. I also want to add some herbs and spices, but maybe I'll wait the last minute. I want more green flavor. Today is a green theme, so everything green is good. So add the rest of the piece my virtual assistant made for me uh, to that. I lost my hat, but so long hat. And so now all I want to do is take all of this, add my boiling water to it cover it up hopefully I can get it to come to board to a full boil by the time we're done I may have to cheat a little bit and use my good stove I want to add some of the this is not potatoes this is actually white yams that I'm using much healthier for you than potatoes we'll put that on there and excuse me I think I should turn off on my good stove and uh, once it's on, I'll transfer that thing, see if we can cheat a little bit. want you to see what it looks like. I'm adding a little bit of uh, cut up fresh herbs, spices. I saved some of the juice uh, from my lamb when I cooked it. I'm adding that to my stew for flavor. I don't want any of the... Some of the peppercorn, whole peppercorn, I don't want in there, so that takes care of that. And we just need this whole thing to come to a full boil and really fast. Looks like it's happening with this, but if I transfer it, I'm certain it'll move faster. So we're just gonna do that for now and let it kind of do its thing while we get organized. And I'll show you guys the result. This is my favorite holiday. It is a green holiday. It's a happy holiday. It's a day to celebrate life. Anything green means life. So, I am full of life. 
people tell me that but I don't need them to tell me because I already know I enjoy I ingest so much life it gives me the energy that I need to enjoy life and I spread it around as much as I can so let's move on do you want to elevate it for the special day I did make green eggs in him for breakfast for lunch we have corned beef and cabbage this is dinner and of course dinner goes with lots of libation now let's see what it's doing i just need it to come to a full boil then i'll correct the flavor then we'll be good to go uh on with my I'm going to probably serve it in here. You guys should be able to see it. Maybe that will work. Maybe that will not. Let me, uh, I've got to correct the flavor. I think I'm at a point where I can transfer over here. Sorry about the back and forth. But, whatever it takes to get the point across, I am certainly willing to do things nagging me so off it goes so that I can easily just move things from one place to another all I have to do now is just correct the flavor of my stew I'm not going to thicken it up I don't like thick stews I want it nice and brothy and thin but if you want to thicken your stew you're certainly more welcome to do that I can show you uh, just for your pleasure I can quickly thicken that up and in the amount of time it takes for it to come to a boil I can have that all done so let's let's get creative I apologize no I'm not apologizing because I'm not sorry I like cooking real time I so that you guys know what I what it takes when you try to emulate what I do you can sort of an, have an idea how much prep you need ahead of time cooking is not hard it's it's easier to not cook of course but the rewards far outweigh the effort so Come on, come on, boil, even more. And while I get it to go, and I want to say shout out to my family, to my sister Carol, she's back from France, said she had a wonderful time. I'm glad she did. Me, I'm just so elated that I'm home. I'm happy being home. Went shopping with my daughter yesterday. I've been, uh, we've been having a lot of shopping sprees lately. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much, but let me make sure this flavor is the way I want it to be. I should add a little chicken bouillon. I don't believe I did. So we'll just add that. I just want a full boil. Boil, boil, boil. Okay, so. Mm. Oh my God, this is so, so good. If only you could taste it, you would understand what I'm talking about. It really is delicious. It's beautiful, most definitely. Bodlicious, and I did achieve a little bit of thickness. Don't think I want more than that. I could cheat a little bit here, add a little bit more. Of... Oh well, guess that means I need more libation. Whatever you guys do today, I hope it's fun. I hope it's with family, friends, loved one, and I hope tomorrow. <laughs> When you wake up, if you find that you need a little bit of picker-upper, go to my website. Not my website, actually. Go to YouTube. That's a lot easier. And download the hangover soup. That's really going to help you get through your day. I strongly recommend it. 
that is if you happen to unintentionally unintentionally overdo it tonight mmm oh you know what a little bit of chili powder actually I'm in love with this Japanese chili sauce and our stew is done it really is pretty I think I want to use this so you guys can actually see it everything was pre-cooked I simply brought them all together it all of 10 minutes the water was already boiled so I just needed it to uh, kind of like soften the vegetable to the texture that I wanted and just get all the flavors buried together and achieve a most beautiful ivy stew. My company should be here in about 30 minutes, which is just perfect. Gives me enough time to <laughs> kind of uh, maybe transform back. <laughs> Oh my, that is a most beautiful Irish stew. Irish lemon stew. Let me get this thing out of my way. It's really very hot. And also, what I want to do is I want to kind of like do that. This is my big bone flavor thing. It is spilling. I kind of overdid it a little bit. Oh well. I can't undo it right now. I will later. I should not have moved this. Oh, spilling seems to be unavoidable at times. And I'm not gonna beat the clock because of this issue. But I'm not panicking. I'm just going to correct it. I told you I won't. And Sorry about the spill display, but it is a spill display today. My virtual assistant is standing by to wash everything for me. But give me a moment, folks. I just cannot do certain things. I cannot do anything haphazard. And so, oh my, I really overdid it on the juice. This is not the first time that's happened to me. It's happened before. But I wish to <laughs> spill all over the place by moi. But it is all done. Okay. This is T. Gabrielle. Happy St. Patrick's Day in Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.